Next in Studio City, nearly a dozen fires were deliberately started in just over two hours. But police are saying they already have their guy. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson is live at the scene of one of those fires. Amy? That's right, Sharon. One of those 11 fires happened here in the dumpster here behind a shopping center here on Ventura Boulevard. And that suspect was caught just steps away in this parking lot just a few hours after those fires began. A frightening, fiery wake up for people living around Studio City when 11 fires broke out near Ventura Boulevard between 4 and 6 a.m. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> That looks like something out of a movie. A security camera captured the suspect walking along nearby Arch Drive just after 4 a.m. The video timestamp is off by an hour. The man in dark clothing can be seen pushing a cart. Minutes later, flames erupted and spread over the SUV. Fire crews quickly responded and put out the fire, but the Ford Explorer was destroyed. This is security video from a nearby 7-Eleven store where another fire broke out in a trash can. Investigators say most of the fires were started in dumpsters and trash cans, and they say security video helped lead them to their suspect. He was taken into custody just hours after the first fire was reported. We have a suspect who has been arrested on suspicion of arson. Uh, 11 fires totals a significant amount and we would classify this person as a serial arsonist. Serena Wiley works nearby. It's crazy. I, 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 I was just opening up the office and there's tons of police cars and cameras. I wonder what the heck's going on and I, I was amazed that something was happening right here in our parking lot. No one was hurt in the fires but investigators say it could have been much worse. People are inside. People can be sleeping. These were at 4 o'clock in the morning. One of them was next to a gas station, so we could have had explosions. All these things make this a significant threat to the community. Now, we are still waiting for the name of that suspect to be released, but investigators have told us he does have prior arrest also for arson. Reporting live in Studio City, Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News. Amy, thank you.